Hi everybody, it's Game Pack Rat with a look at another set of Super Power Supplies catalogs, this time from 1998. So, today we have three catalogs, Spring 98, Summer 98, and Winter 98. And these are going to feature a lot of cool stuff from the N64 era. Um, before we jump into the catalogs, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as I will be releasing videos for all the other years of Super Power Supply catalogs and have already posted several of the previous year's catalogs, as well as a lot of other great game-related content. All right, let's get into it. First up, we have the Spring 98 catalog, featuring a lot of different Nintendo plushies on the cover here. Okay, first page is a Yoshi t-shirt, uh, featuring a render from the uh, Yoshi Story game. That was 14. A Yoshi Story Tot T. Uh, looks like this was youth sized and that was $12. And a set of Yoshi Story dog tags for just $5. Over here was a Yoshi Junior College sweatshirt. Again, youth sized for $32. And a pretty cool looking Yoshi watch uh, featuring a green Yoshi on the face and several different colored Yoshis across the band for $26. Next up, we have a set of message centers. Uh, we saw the Mario one in last year's catalog, but the Yoshi one is new. Um, these are essentially small magnetic dry erase boards um, that included a dry erase pen uh, for just $5 each. There was an N64 mini radio with a set of earphones for $16, and an N64 combination lock uh, for $8. Um, Presumably for maybe your school locker. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, over here is a pretty cool looking character pen. It says it features a stainless steel barrel with several classic Nintendo characters. Um, so you can see Donkey Kong in his cart from Mario Kart. Uh, Bowser, Yoshi, and Fox McCloud. That was just $12. Uh, over here, a roll-up calculator. Uh, that was in last year's catalog. That was 18 and a color change football that, again, is a repeat. That was $12. Next, um, a N64 t-shirt for $12, a jersey t-shirt for $18, and N64 hat. Um, I kind of like this. It's fairly subtle. It's like a just black on gray logo, but then it has the uh, color three-dimensional N on the back for $15. There's a Mario College sweatshirt. Uh, looks like this one is adult-sized. That was $40. An N64 backpack for $14. And the Mario and Yoshi Youth Ringer tees we saw in last year's catalog for $14 each. Over here is a large plushie section. Um, so first, I'm going to jump down here first. These were the beanbag plush. Um, this was the height of the Beanie Baby craze, so of course Nintendo had to jump on the bandwagon. Uh, but these were pretty cool collectibles. I definitely had most of these. I'm not sure if I got every character. Um, but these were available in stores as well, not um, strictly through the catalog. But they were just $5 each. Um, now up here, though, uh, were 18-inch versions of the characters. Um, so just not everybody, but um, so we have a uh, Donkey Kong, Mario with his flying cap, Yoshi, and Bowser. And it says, um, if anyone watched the previous year's video, they offered what they called the big ol' Mario and big ol' Donkey Kong that were three feet tall. Absolutely enormous plush uh, for $100 each. Uh, but it even says here, these characters aren't nearly as big as the big old characters you've seen in previous catalogs, but they are about four times larger than the collectible characters or the beanbag toys. Um, so those were $45 each. And going the opposite direction, they had some miniature versions in keychain form. Um, so you can get the whole set of four for $15 or your favorite character for just $4. And over here, we have a set of Yoshis. Um, so the green Yoshi was identical to the other one that was previously available, but they started offering him in different colors, just as we saw in Yoshi's Island or Yoshi's Story. 
Uh, so it looks like the set of four was just $20. <clears throat> Next up, um, some of the typical storage options we see in every year's catalog. Um, there's an N64 system house, game protectors, a power rack for N6, or Nintendo Power Magazines, a Nintendo Power Magazine binder, trading card holder, and N64 traveler case. And here are some soundtracks. Um, these two were pretty interesting. I'm fairly certain I had these as a kid. I haven't been able to find them, though. Uh, but there's a Yoshi Story Shape CD. So the physical CD was actually cut out in the shape of Yoshi's head with some fruit behind him. Um, and same deal with this Diddy Kong Racing Shape CD. It was in the shape of Diddy's face. Um, now, I'm pretty sure there was a warning saying not to use these in tray-style CD players, as they could just shake loose and cause damage. Um, but they were perfectly fine in things like, like a Discman, where it would have the little clip in the center for the disc. Um, and these were just $12 each. Down here is an N64 Trilogy CD we saw in a previous catalog. Um, that included Mario Kart 64, Star Fox 64, and Super Mario 64 soundtracks which were also available individually, as was the uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 and Killer Cut CD. And then there was an N64 CD holder. Over here, a Legend of Zelda t-shirt. This um, says, are you preparing for the launch of one of the biggest games of all time? Which, of course, was Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We... Everybody back then was just out of their mind with hype for that game, so I get where they're coming from. <laughs> but anyway, this t-shirt was 17 Here's a couple superpower stamps that were good for a dollar off your order each. An unused order form. And the back page featuring a selection of player's guides. Um, the only new one this time around, I believe, would be the Yoshi Story Guide. And a player's guide holder. Okay, next up, let's take a look at Summer. <clears throat> so here, this catalog features the very popular Banjo and Kazooie and um, Mumbo Jumbo on the cover. And a Zelda hat. <clears throat> here we go. Banjo Kazooie cap. That's pretty cool. So it looks like it has the logo on the front, the N64 logo on the back, and then Kazooie tracks going from the bill all the way across to the back, where there's a tiny Rare logo. Very cool. $24. Um, also, there's a BK Flyer. So these were essentially uh, like Frisbees, but so the center portion with the imagery is soft, and the outer ring was weighted. So when you threw it, it would, it would travel further. Um, I didn't have this one, but I had a, a very similar frisbee um from one of my boy scout camps when i was a child and they were pretty fun um but anyway that was just six dollars there's a banjo kazooie youth ringer t-shirt for 17 a yoshi watch um uh, which i believe was in last year's catalog but has green yoshi on the face different colored yoshis on the band for 26 a yoshi story tot t so a youth sized t-shirt a Yoshi's Face t-shirt, and a Yoshi t-shirt. Um, the top T was 12, the other two were 16, and there's a Yoshi Story dog tag set for 5 bucks. Next up, here is that Zelda shirt we saw a moment ago for 17 um, Another Zelda shirt, but this one is purple uh, for 22 and a Young Link t-shirt. Uh, youth sized for 17. Over here is a pretty cool Triforce pendant featuring the Triforce on one side and Link on the other. That was 18. Here's uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time hat. That was 25. Looks like that might have been an early iteration of the logo. That's pretty interesting. Here's a Legend of Zelda pocket watch with a little leather case or pouch for 30. <clears throat> a Nintendo sports hat, so just kind of a, a subtle looking six panel design with a uh, Nintendo sports logo on the side. That was 16. 
uh, Nintendo Sports Batting shirt and Sports Shorts for 28 and 18 respectively. And a Nintendo Sports Youth Soccer shirt for 18 So, uh, youth-sized soccer jersey, basically. Uh, here's the Mario College and Yoshi Junior College sweatshirts we saw in the previous catalog. Um, 40 for the Mario adult size one, 32 for the Yoshi youth size, and then 64 backpack and the N64 combination lock again. Um, N64 system house, game protectors, antenna power binder, N64 traveler case. Okay, this is new, an N64 binder cover. Uh, so it looks like it was a three ring binder. But it had a couple pockets and slots for like pens and accessories. That was twelve dollars. A Nintendo NPS Nintendo Power Source mouse pad. So that was their website back in the nineties on uh, America Online. <laughs> that was seven dollars. A power rack for Nintendo Power magazines. The uh, message centers we just saw in the last catalog, uh, and that same character pen. But this is new, an organizer and sticker set. So it just looks like a kind of generic type of plastic lunchbox style case with a set of 16 stickers for 8 bucks, and 64 CD holder, and the usual selection of soundtracks. Um, we, this time we have two new options, the Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack for 10 or the 1080 snowboarding soundtrack also for 10 uh, The others are all repeats. Oh, here we go. And um, adding on to the large selection of plush, we have a Banjo-Kazooie or Mumbo-Jumbo um, plush toy. Uh, so these were seven inches tall. Uh, and yeah, I do recall these were a bit bigger than the um, other Mario characters. So Banjo-Kazooie was $8, Mumbo-Jumbo was 6 um, Again, I'm pretty sure these were available in stores as well. There's that Yoshi multicolor set the keychain set, and the other 8 plush. And here is a N64 collector button set. Um, let's see, it's two, four, a set of six buttons for $5. And the N64 roll-up lunch bag, power stamps, order form, and player's guides. Uh, this time around had a few new ones, Banjo-Kazooie and the Game Boy Camera Funtography Guide. All right, last one. Winter 1998, and here was when Ocarina of Time had arrived. And here we have it, Legendary Action, Legend of Zelda action figures. Uh, so it looks like the set of three, uh, that would be Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf, was $14.00. Or you can purchase them individually for five dollars each. Um, I did have these as a kid, but I recall I did sell them off at one point just because I felt like there were better Zelda figures available at the time. Kind of wish I held on to them, but what are you gonna do? Over here, a couple cool T-shirts. Uh, so we have a Link Ganondorf or a Zelda Youth T-shirt featuring uh, looks like Young Link. And the uh, adult size shirts were $20 each. The youth one was $16. And here, more Zelda. There's a Zelda Triforce cap featuring, a, looks like a metal, or is that just a... Uh, yeah, a metal Triforce on the front. And then the uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time logo on the back. That was $25. This was a pretty unique item that I regret not getting. Um, so it's a Game Boy camera, but if you notice, the um, logo and the uh, rear plastic portion of it are actually gold. And this was a Legend of Zelda limited edition. Uh, so they only made 2,000 units. And in this case, the album B images and stamp icons were from Zelda. And that was $50. Kicking myself for not getting one. Oh well. <laughs> There's the uh, mouse pad yet again. Some more Zelda stuff. We have a Triforce pendant. Uh, oh, at the top there. A Zelda wallet. 
featuring the uh, Zelda logo on the outside, and a chain, a Triforce bracelet, that's pretty cool, a Zelda pocket watch, that was in the last catalog, and a Triforce watch with a cool Triforce on the face. And here we go, 1080 snowboarding. Um, so there was a fleece hat for 20, a set of sunglasses for 5, um, a Lamar 1080 special edition 151 snowboard and bindings. Uh, that would be this right here. That was a whopping $249. I mean, that's probably a good price for a snowboard, but... <laughs> Still a lot of money in 1997. Um, or 1998, sorry. Um, okay, next, a 1080 fleece pullover. Um, what's kind of cool about this, so it had the 1080 logo on the front, but then it says it had a lenticular Nintendo 64 patch on the uh, back, below the collar. That was 55. Uh, there's a kickin' Mario tee. That was 20. And a glow patch hat. So it says this N64 logo on the front here would actually glow in the dark. Um, and that was $18. Next up, uh, a couple repeats. So Banjo Kazooie and Yoshi. We have the uh, hat and youth t shirts we saw in the previous issue. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie dog tags, I think those are new, that was five. Over here, some new soundtracks. Um, of course, the Ocarina of Time soundtrack for ten. 1080 snowboarding for ten. The others were all repeats. And here's the plush. Um, not seeing anything new. Oh, okay, they added a new set of keychains. Uh, so the other four characters, so in this case they added Luigi, Toad, Wario, and Diddy. Uh, those were all $4 each, or you can get the set of eight for $30. Um, there's the button set we saw in a previous catalog. Oh, and these are new. Um, there is a set of talking 12-inch characters. So uh, it was Mario, but if you notice, it's... Um, kind of like a, a regular Mario as opposed to the wing cap version. Um, Yoshi, Bowser, and Donkey Kong. Those were all 12 inches tall and talked for $24 each. And it looks like they re-released some of the smaller plush in talking variants for $7 each. But it, again, it was just the main four, at least at first. So Mario, Bowser, Donkey Kong, and Yoshi. Next, uh, typical storage options, a Backpack Traveler, N64 System House, N64 Backpack, Game Binder, I think that might be new, the N64 Game Binder for 15 uh, Magazine Binder, N64 Game Protectors, and Power Rack, and, oh, here, one new thing, the, um, like the previous Mario and Yoshi ones, we have a Lynx message center. So it's a dry erase board featuring Link for $5. Superpower stamps, order form, and guides. So here, two new ones, Ocarina of Time. Um, I don't believe that was the final artwork. I think it's a bit different. I want to say it's Link drawing his bow. Um, and then Pokemon, which was new and would eventually kind of take over these catalogs in subsequent years. You will see. So, there we have it. Another year down. Lots more very, very cool exclusive merchandise. Let me know in the comments if you owned any of this stuff back in 1998, or if you still do, or want to track it down now. Um, again, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Uh, I have a lot more great content on the way. Thank you so much, and have a great day.